Alright, this is my Ascend FS12T, fully loaded here. Let's see, I've got a nice chest for a fish. This one is for drinks. This one's uh, screwed down with these little pad eyes and a turnbuckle thing. This worked great. This is my tower, cleaning tower. It hinges back here, and this just slips out. Hinges here and here, and then I can fold it down when I put it on top of my car. Here is a stakeout pole. This just kind of locks in there like that. There's a little cutting board with a track and a Scotty gear head. Rod holder assembly. This whole unit comes apart here and here with these snap-on PVC pieces. And there's a hole drilled there for a pin. These screw off for storage. And there's a live well with a little battery-operated aerator. This is my cup holder. Just took a piece of pipe, a little floaty to hang hooks and stuff on. This comes off, and or you can slide it up. It spins around. There's a track here for a gearhead or a rod holder, if I like. Here's a and moving on. These are two hooks I installed to hang a little lantern from when I go night fishing. A lot of this is work in progress, but it's all pretty cool stuff. This is a little rod paddle keeper. Pivots and spins. I'm standing up and just drop my paddle right in that little groove. Miscellaneous um, eyelets and hooks to hook things on, knives, pliers. I keep my keep my net right there for me to see. See life jacket, of course. This is my instead of a milk crate, I use an ice chest. I changed the hinges on it. This is a little small 28 quart. It's secured with a turnbuckle and a little clip. That's a flagpole bracket that I bought. It pivots, but I don't use it to pivot. I stick this umbrella in it like that. And in Florida, you need some shade. Screw it on one of those triple rod holders to the ice chest. That I'll tell you what that's for in a minute. That's work in progress too. This is my pontoon system. This has a this clamps on too again with one of those clamp on PVC things. I can tilt it, or spin it. The bungees, the floor jack, and these two gas struts are for the pontoon system. I haven't like I said, work in progress. It's not completely finished, but I'll take this off. I'm going to take the jack. It's under a lot of pressure, but you get the idea. Let's see. Can watch the sucker go down. It takes a little while, but that's okay. Cause that means I don't have to get out of the water to lower them. And then they just lock in place like that, both sides. And to release it, when I'm ready to start paddling, paddling again, stick that in there, just like any bottle jack, and up she goes. Pretty sweet. Another track right here. Back here, that's just my cast. And moving around to the side of the boat. Intro trolley system. This is just store bought, nothing handmade here. Works great. Got one of those little zigzag cleats. And my anchor just hooks to that ring. It's great because when I anchor up, depending on the wind or the current, I can make the boat point, point wherever I like. This pulley is what that cable is that I showed a minute ago. This is something that's work in progress. What it's going to do is operate a keel that I have yet to build. It's a PVC pipe, I drill the hole, comes back through this little bulkhead, and comes out right there. And finally, all these gadgets are removable thanks to the wood that I put in here. I bracketed in a piece of 4x4 to mount the whole pontoon system. 
in the front, I have two pieces of wood. These are treated pieces of lumber. They're bracketed in pretty simply with a L bracket. Had to bend that a little bit to make it work. But anyway, this thing is fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, everything has to be removable, which it is, because I put it on a Mini Cooper Clubman. It's a Mini Cooper roof rack. This is a homemade PVC rig with pool noodles. I bunch it here to the door handle. While I lift the kayak nose right here, you can see where it's worn. I'm just rolling on up, and I just strap it down. All right, that's everything. Hope you enjoyed my video. And See you next time.